Hey friends, it's Julie. Welcome to your no repeat total body and cardio circuit. We are going to be working every muscle group with cardio drills. So the way this is going to work is we will have one strength exercise followed by a cardio drill. We will be working time under tension today. So be mindful of that when you choose your weights because the rest periods will be short. Are you ready to do this? Have a variety of weights available to you. Let's get ready to work hard. Let's get in there and get this done. We're gonna warm up and then jump into the workout. Nice big shoulder rolls. We're just gonna do a quick warm up here just to make sure our body is ready for the workout. And we'll roll into the front. And open and close those arms. Just open and close. Just really open the chest. Round through the back a little bit. Get the upper back. Okay, take this into some arm swings. So we want to come up and back. Just want to work a little bit here on the shoulder mobility. And let's go into some spinal rotations. Now we will be working upper and lower body together. So if there are any exercises that bother the knees, you can eliminate the lower body or I will give you a modification. All right, let's pinch forward and lean back. Here we go. We do have squats and lunges today, so I'm just gonna warn you about that. We are hitting the upper and the lower body today, so we're going for it, but you can modify it at any time. You know your body and you know what works best, so be mindful of that. And hold it here, and just reach for the floor, stretching out the hamstrings, pulling the tailbone towards the ceiling. Go ahead and bend the legs just a little bit and straighten them. Let's do that again. Bend them just a little bit and straighten them. Hold it there. Stretch, stretch, stretch and slowly roll it to the top and just a little jog in place. Just a little bitty. You don't have to have your feet leaving the floor much. Now with our cardio drills today, they are all low impact. Not no impact, but low impact but you can always make them even lower impact. So if at any time one of the cardio drills doesn't feel good for you, you don't like it, swap it out and do anything else. The goal is just to move during that period of time. So feel free to do whatever cardio drill you want. Are you guys ready to do this? Okay, we're gonna work for 45 seconds. We're gonna rest for 15 seconds. So we're gonna be moving at a fairly quick pace. I will show you each exercise as we're about to do it. So have some weights available so that you can move from one exercise to the next. Are you ready? Okay, so I'm gonna have just a couple weights available for me for what we're going to be doing. So I'm just gonna have a few of them out in front of me so that I can quickly go from exercise to exercise. Now this will not be the day which I'm, where I'm trying to go for my max weight and, and lift heavier than ever before. What we're going to do today is for just total body strength. So just weights that challenge you, but we're not going for your heaviest weights. Does that make sense? Okay. So these are the weights I'm going to work with today. <laughs> I'm going to range anywhere between eight pounds up to 15 pounds. <sighs> okay. This is how it's going to go. Make sure that your weights are in front of you so that when you do cardio, you have some space behind you so that you're not stepping on them. First exercise is a squat with an alternating press. So we're going to squat press one arm, squat, press the other arm. Now, instead of a squat, what you can do is you can do knee lift and press, knee lift and press, or just focus on the arms, okay? That's always an option to leave the legs out. So you've got three options there. You can do a squat with a press, you can do the knee lift with a press, or you can do just the press. As soon as we put that weight down, we're gonna have 15 seconds and we're gonna go right into skaters. <sighs> Take a deep breath. <laughs> Get ready to do this, load those weights up, make sure you keep that core engaged and your shoulders are down and your chest is open, okay? We wanna have the weight in the balls of our feet and our heels, not the toes. Here we go. Squat, press one weight. Now it's not about speed. So we're not just trying to get in as many reps as possible. We're trying to get as many quality reps as possible. 
So really work through each part of the exercise. So in that squat, really squeeze to the top. Then use that shoulder to press. Slow and controlled is always better than fast and sloppy. Almost there. And rest. You have 15 seconds. We're going to go into a skate. So we're just side to side, okay? You don't have to jump. Just make sure you kind of get that arm a good swing. So keep water nearby so you can get a sip of water whenever you need. Here we go. Let's skate. So let's take a big step here. Bring that arm across the body. If you want to add a little more power to this, you're just going to leap from side to side, okay? That's your way to turn it up just a little bit. But you can get good intensity going without the jump. It's up to you on how much effort you put in to the exercise. We're gonna be going into a sumo squat with a bicep curl. So that's what you got coming up. And rest. I'm gonna stick with my good tins. With sumo, we are gonna be turned out. We're gonna squat, come up and press. You can also just do the bicep curl. Here we go. Now make sure that those knees are tracking out over the toes. Elbows stay in, nice and close to the body. And a bicep curl is just a hinge at the elbow. We don't use the shoulders. <laughs> We're not using anything else except the legs here. We got sumos. With that sumo, I need you to squeeze. Squeeze your inner thigh as you come to the top. Squeeze your glutes as you come to the top. One more. Woo! Set that down. We have a triple step. And what that means is you one, two, three, hold. One, two, three, hold, okay? Light on your feet, little bitty cat steps. Oh, take a deep breath. Here we go. Just light on your feet. We're not really jumping, we're not slamming our feet into the ground. We're working on a little agility right here. Side to side, quick little movements in our feet so that we stay agile. Now we're going to drop down the weights. We're going to be doing tricep next. So I want you to go for your lighter weights. Rest. One weight for this first one. We have a static lunge. One foot forward, one foot back. We're gonna lunge, extend the arm. Okay, you can also take out the lunge, just do the arm. Here we go. Elbow stays in place, lower in front of your face, and then extend. And you're just like on an elevator. Lower down, lift back up. And rest. We're gonna do the same thing, other side. So other foot will go back and you're just going down and up, okay? And we wanna make sure that that arm stays in place and we're just hinging at the elbow. Here we go. Make sure you get that core engaged. And we're standing tall. 
And what I mean by that is we're not leaning forward. That chest is lifted. And rest. Woo! You have jump rope. Little ghost rope, lighting the feet. Your feet don't have to leave the ground. You can just do little heel lifts. Are you ready? Let's ghost rope. Little bitty jump rope. So, we're just using our hands the way we would if we were holding a jump rope. I like to call it a ghost rope. So we're pretending we have a rope. And we're just light on the balls of our feet. But you can be right here. My feet aren't leaving the ground. I'm just lifting my heels, okay? Both are great options. Next, we're going to be going into a deadlift with a row. So you want to go heavier. and rest. Okay, so we're gonna be here, slight bend in the legs, feet are hip distance apart. We're gonna deadlift, flat back, row, stand. All right, everybody should do this. Deadlifts are usually uh, pretty easy on the body. Here we go. Deadlift, row, come to the top. Now if that deadlift, pull up through those hamstrings to come to the top. With that row, pull up those elbows using the lats. and rest. Okay, we're going into skips. Really, it's like a high knee march. And we're just gonna clap under our leg. If the clap is too much, just high knee march. Here we go. And that clap under the knee, it's really to get you to lift your knee as high as you can. Our next move is going to be a curtsy lunge with a lateral raise. So we're going to drop down and wait for this next one. And rest. Okay, grab your lighter weights. I'm going to go down to eight. You are going to curtsy, lateral raise. Curtsy, lateral raise. Or you can just step back and raise, okay, without actually going into the lunge. Here we go. So arms just come to shoulder height. Slight rounding of the elbows. And you just step back, lower down. What do you guys think? of these super bright bubblegum pink leggings. They just came in the mail. Very excited about them. They're very bright, even though it's winter. I'm feeling kind of springy. These are by CRZ Yoga. It's like my favorite legging place because they're so affordable. They're so soft. And rest. By the way, I do have a discount code with CRZ, and it is linked in the description below the video. And I just have some of my favorite products linked on there in case you ever want to check them out. Okay, side loops. Side to side, that's it. Very basic or step touch. Here we go. So keep that bend in your knees. And you're just side to side. You can be here, 
which is a big step type, or you can just add that tiny little loop. It's still very low impact, but we're just adding that little bit of extra power. Sometimes when people see low impact, they think no impact. And that's not the case. No impact would be sitting in a chair. Even walking has some impact. It's just low. It's not like you're jumping, plyometrics, anything crazy that would be higher impact. This is still a low impact. Rest. Are we hanging in there? Okay, we have a squat step out with a hammer curl. So we're gonna squat. When we come in, we're gonna curl. So we got thumbs on top. Here we go. Squat, curl. You can also just do the curl and lead off the squat. Step out, sit down, come up, hammer to the top. And rest. Woo! Okay, you have what I call twisting mountain climber. So you're just going to swivel on your feet, pretend you're climbing that mountain, okay? Let's go. Swivel, climb the mountain. So twisting mountain climber. If you've ever seen those machines at the gym, the ergos, where you hold on to it and it's like you're doing a standing mountain climber, we're kind of doing that but we're twisting, getting a little crunch work there, and it's just more fun. I mean, really, that's all it is. I like the twist because it's more fun. You got this. Hang in there with me. I know this is fast-paced. <laughs> side lunge with a tricep kickback. So, what we're going to do, lunge to the side, kickback. Then you go the other direction, lunge to the side, kickback. Or just do the kickback if you don't like the lunge. Are you ready? Here we go. Lunge, kickback. Other side. So we're sitting down right into one leg. It's almost like a single leg squat. One leg stays straight and all of our weight goes into the bent leg, but we're pushing that weight back. Keeping the elbows up, give you a tricep kick back. And of course, you can just do the tricep kick back. Just 
lifting the leg, squeezing the glutes. And when you do that fly, you're trying to bring the shoulder blades together. And don't feel like you have to race through it. Get your balance first. You're almost there. Last one. Rest. Okay, I know I don't need to eat. And I know I don't need to eat. We'll be Give myself a little bit of space. We're going down to the floor. So, actually, I take it back. We do have one more cardio drill. I apologize. We have cross jabs. I told you that was your last one, and I totally lied. <laughs> so sorry. So we're here. Cross jabs. Let's go. I forgot. This is the last one. Okay. Pull the core in. And just jab, jab, jab. Keep a bend in your knees and swivel on that foot. We're getting a little standing core right here and putting some power behind that jab, okay? Give me what you got right here. I promise this is your last cardio drill. Can you feel that core working? If you're really pulling that core in, you should feel it because that rotation is really going to challenge your core. And rest. Oh, okay, now I promise you're going to the floor. You have your chest press with a bridge. Okay, woo. There will be no cardio drill in between now. We'll just have um, two little bonus strength exercises. So we're gonna do a chest press with a bridge. And then we'll put those weights down and we're gonna do bridge marches in place of our cardio drill. So come on down. You're gonna chest press and bridge. Are you ready? Here we go. Press it up, <coughs> excuse me, as you bridge. <clears throat> so squeeze the glutes at the top as you press that weight right over your rib cage. It's not a back extension, so just squeeze to lift the glutes off the floor. You don't need to get your back way high up there. We don't want that, and that's a different exercise. The next exercise we're going to go into is a chest fly with a heel tap. So we're going to hit a little core while we do a chest fly. Of course, you can just do the chest fly if adding in core is too much. And rest. Okay, so grab some lighter weights. Chest fly, you usually want to go just a little bit lighter than you do with a chest press. So we're gonna be here. We're gonna tap those feet as we fly. You gotta use your core and make sure the back stays pressed against the floor. Here we go. So fly and drop those feet to just lightly touch the floor. But we're using the core to control the legs down and back up. Belly button's pulled in towards the spine, back is against the floor. Okay, 
and rest. Okay, put those weights down. We're going to leg lowers. So you're gonna sit on your hands, and we're gonna lower the legs, straighten back up. Can you knock it? I'm gonna hit that ball. So as low as you can, here we go. Lower, come back up. So back stays against the floor. You are controlling it all the way down. So it's like the heel tap, except we have straight legs. And if you only get here before your back lifts, that's fine, that's as far as you go. I want you to go as far as you can while maintaining contact between your back and the floor and using the core. This exercise right here is great for strengthening the core and the hip flexors. So this will help if you have weak, weak excuse me, hip flexors. This will help strengthen them. stretch go ahead and do that but make sure it's your chest coming down and not the top of your head sometimes people will do this thinking they're getting a deeper stretch but what we want is the chest to come forward not the head how do you feel that was pretty fast paced <laughs> very little rest pretty much a cardio effect the entire time okay bring those knees together what I want you to do is take your feet about hip distance apart, okay? You're sitting up nice and tall, and you're gonna let those knees fall to one side. So you've got a little slight rotation there. You're just gonna get a little stretch on that outside of that hip. And come up to the top, and let them fall to the other side. It kind of feels like an awkward position to be in, but it actually offers a great stretch. Also makes you work in that mobility in your hip socket a little bit too. And come back to the top. Okay, now we're gonna stand. Go ahead and take your time. It's not a race. I'm gonna move these two weights out of my way. We have a stretch slash strength move. We're gonna do an inch one into a push-up. We're just gonna do a few. So, stand at the back of your mat. Okay, what I want you to do is roll one vertebrae at a time until your hands touch the floor and then you're gonna walk out to a plank. Okay, are you ready? So here we go, one vertebrae at a time, stretching through the back. Once your hands hit the floor, go ahead and walk them out. And you're in a high plank here. Okay, hold that plank, pull the belly button in towards the spine. Now I want you to lower down in a push-up and then come back up. Now I want you to walk your hands back to your feet. Now, if you cannot do a push-up on your toes, which is totally fine, go ahead and drop your knees for the push-up. Let's do it again. Roll on down. Walk it out. So you can drop your knees right here to do your push-up. And walk back. And slowly roll it back up. How are you feeling? Open and close those arms a little bit. Okay, I don't know about you, but I'm sweaty. <laughs> I'm tired, <laughs> ah, but I feel good. So, that was a quick total body workout with some cardio. So on days when you don't have a lot of time but you wanna get something in, this is a great one to do because you get a little strength, you get a little cardio, you get a little core, and then we're done. So, go have a great rest of your day. Drink plenty of water. Each day, I want you to aim for 80 to 90 ounces of water. And I know that sounds like a lot, but carry your water bottle with you. 
This water bottle, or one I have that's a little larger, goes with me everywhere. I don't go anywhere without taking this, and I make sure to get through three of these a day, and that would give me 90. I have one water bottle that's a little bit bigger, and so if I get through three of those, I get like 96. Water's so important for hydrating your body, helping your muscles recover, very important. The other thing I want you to focus on is eating with intention. The foods you choose affect your body, and that's up to you. What you consume is up to you. So think of your body when you're choosing foods. How will this help my body thrive? How am I going to help these muscles grow, my body feel its absolute best, my sleep be good, my energy be high? That's all going to be affected by what you eat. Focus on protein. <clears throat> protein is the cornerstone. That should be the first thing that you get on your plate. Then you fill it in with healthy carbs and healthy fats. You make sure you get fiber, all those things that make a well-rounded meal that fuel your body. So thank you for joining me. I hope that you had fun and I hope to see you in the next workout.